So today I'm talking about a U0401 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a U0401 code? Well, it's an invalid data received from ECM slash PCM. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have different computer modules that are controlling different functions inside of a vehicle. They can have an engine control module, which is controlling all the engine functions. They can have a transmission control module, which is controlling all the transmission functions. And some vehicles can have a powertrain control module, which is basically car manufacturers trying to move all the components more with one computer instead of multiple computers. So quite often a PCM can do all the things that an ECM can do, but it's also controlling other functions like the transmission and things like this. There could be different things on what these computer modules are controlling and what's going on exactly, depending on the vehicle, year, make, model, things like this. But basically when you get a U0401 code, there's a communication problem between the engine control module and the powertrain control module. And the basics of how all these computer modules are talking to each other and communicating is going to go along with what they call a CAN bus or a controller area network bus. And it's basically just all the wires that are running between all the different control modules. You could kind of think of the CAN bus like Ethernet in a home with like a hub or something like that. But basically the CAN bus is all the different wires that are running between all the different control modules and how they communicate with each other. And one thing to note about a U0401 code is that it can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot sometimes because it can involve wiring or different things like this. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what will be some possible causes of a U0401 code? Well, the first thing is be sure there's no power supply issues. Be sure the battery's charged, that the alternator's charging, that the battery terminal connections are good, they're not corroded or anything, because basically these computers need a good power source or else it could cause issues, it could throw things off on them. So first thing, be sure the battery's good and there's no charging issues. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be a blown fuse. So be sure to check your fuses. Mainly check all the computer module fuses. This includes anything labeled like ECM, PCM, ECU, anything like that. But the next thing that could cause this is going to be a blown fuse. Another thing that could cause this is that there's something wrong with the wiring harness. It's not making a good connection. It's not plugged in good. If the computer modules locating like the engine bay or something like that, sometimes they could get grease on them and just make bad connections or just become loose or something like that. And this is going to include all the wires running around in between all the computer control modules. Sometimes rodents get inside of vehicles and they chew on wires and different things like this, or just different things happen. But if there's any open or short inside the wiring, then that's going to cause this issue. Another thing to keep a lookout for is that these computer modules, they need a good ground or else it could cause issues. So if you are checking out the wiring, be sure they have a good ground connection. And the last thing on the list is going to be that the ECM or PCM control modules just fell and it's just gone bad. Quite often when these go bad, there's burnt components on the board. Not all the time. Sometimes they can fail and there's no burn marks or anything like that. But it is common that they do get burnt spots or one of these caps blow out or something like that. So if you could just go around those computer control modules and you could just smell around them. And if you smell anything burnt, then you know there's some kind of issue going on with that module. If you do smell a burnt smell, you can open them up and check to see what the components look like. But the last thing on the list is going to be that the ECM or PCM has just gone bad. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the U0401 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.